now y'all have mercy because y'all are standing in front of prophets for real. Right. right. You're standing in front of the real people that God sent to teach That's people. Right. Right. Because there ain't no pot up here. We ain't asking you for a dime. Right. We don't want your money. We want you to repent and change your life. Right. That's First, right. the pastor on Sunday, don't they pass around a collection page? God gonna give you a blessing. Why the blessing ain't came? We, I grew up in the project. The project's still there today. See? All the people I knew, most of us still there today or dead. Right. Or in prison. And they all went to the church and they heard the same thing. This is your season. When? When is it gonna be our season then? Since it's been our season since I was little. This truth must be pushed throughout the state of South Carolina by all means necessary. Our people are in desperate need of God's laws out here. We're the men that stand boldly to get the job done against all opposition that standeth in our way. And opposition will come. In fact, it's already here. Every day we put our lives on the line to save our people. Exactly. And that's even in the midst of all the opposition that come our way. But this is our mission. It doesn't matter how we feel or what we think. We all have our own issues. But who's gonna rise up when the Most High calls? It's time to gather the saints from Columbia to Spartanburg, Charleston to Myrtle Beach. We hit the streets for the lost sheep. So men of war, gather yourselves together. Let's get ready for battle. Strap your boots, no excuse, let's push this truth. Whether it's two by two or the whole crew, get ready, we coming through. We are not a hate group. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Israel, united in Christ, is a non-violent, Bible-based movement. IUIC. So when you read John 3.16, for God so loved the world, we are the world without end, not every race. That's you just right. called Israel a world without end. Right. We're the only ones that's going to live forever. <laughs> not everybody, bro. Because we don't understand what the Bible is saying. Because we believe that the Bible is for every race. Right. When everybody that wrote the Bible looked like me and you. Right. Y'all understand what we're saying? Now, oh yeah. Read that again. I like, no, Joel 227. It's one of my favorite scriptures. And this thing right here make my teeth white. I'll be cheesing when we read this. Read the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. God is saying he's in the midst of who? Who did he say? Israel. Why do we keep hearing Israel, Israel in the whole Bible? Go ahead. And that I am the Lord your God. He's your God. Now watch this. And none else. White people ain't got no God. That's right. Arab people ain't got no God. Right. right. Chinese people ain't got no God. Right. They all worship idols and we follow their idols. Wake right. up. Because Christianity. Let me get right here. So just slide back a little step. Who the heck is this? Who is this? Who is it? Who is this? Who is this? What Jesus look like then? Wow! Now, that might as well be the same thing you just said. How do we not know? It's written in the Bible what he looked like. Right! Go to, watch this, watch this. How old are you, bro? 14. 14. 21. Huh? 21. 21. 20. 20. Go to Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. Watch this. Because this is something that they've done to us where we ourselves, we look at YouTube videos more than we'll read. Black people don't read. Right. That's one of the negative statements that people say, you want to have something from a nigga, put it in a what? A yeah. book. Right. And it is so true because we don't read. We'll watch YouTube videos and think we wise. We'll come out and teach what we learn on YouTube and think we deep. Right. Yeah. And then the very same book that YouTube can't explain to us, we got the understanding right here. Watch right. this. Let's see what the Bible say. Go ahead. Matter of fact, read verse one, then jump to three. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. Go ahead. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Because you said we don't know what he looked like. The Bible finna tell you because that word revelation means the root word is revealed. Jeez. So reveal Jesus Christ. Jump down to verse 3. Verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth. Blessed is he that what? That readeth. No, no, watch YouTube videos and, and just go by what everybody says. Blessed is he that readeth. No, 
the man that listened to the pastor on Sunday. Blessed is he that read it. Because now you can't lie to me once I know what it said. That's right. right. You cannot lie to me and tell me no one knows what God looks like. Because that's what white people say. Right. right. Black people only repeat what white people say. Right. right. Chinese people say the same thing. Black people repeat what Chinese people say. Right. But if you ever go read it and they ever lie to you, it's going to be a bad conversation for them. That's right. right. They don't have these conversations with us. Because they know good and well, if I go over there and tell them that no one seen Christ, well, how did they hang him on the cross if no one saw him? He floated. Right up. Huh? He was invisible. Jeez. We've literally forgotten simple psychology just because white people said it. Right. Right. We can't fathom what the Bible says because someone said something, but we won't read it. Right. right. Go ahead. Read on down. Verse 14. Bless this he that read it. Okay. Right. Bless is he that read it. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. Go ahead. And keep those things which are written therein. So I said, bless once you read it and you do exactly what it says. Right. That's when we bless by God, bro. Right. So if we're not doing what he says, who are you getting blessed by? Then? Now, right now, y'all have mercy because y'all are standing in front of prophets for real. Right. right. You're standing in front of the real people that God sent to teach That's his people. Right, right. Because ain't no pot up here. We ain't asking you for a dime. Right. We don't want your money. We want you to repent and change your life. Right. That's Versus right. the past on Sunday, don't they pass around a collection pay? God going to give you a blessing. Why the blessing ain't came? We, I grew up in the projects. Them projects still there today. Teach. All the people I knew, most of us still there today or dead. Right. Or in prison. And they all went to the church and they heard the same thing. This is your season. When? Right. When is it going to be our season then since it's been our season since I was little? Right. right. That season ain't came. Is that what you're telling me, Pastor? But we don't question them. But as soon as black people show up to actually read what the Bible say, well, how do you know the Bible is real? Wait a minute. You said in church all your life. Bring it up. And never questioned the pastor that lied. But now when we read it, now it's, well, who wrote the Bible? Wait black men. Black men wrote the Bible that God said, write it down for us today. That's right. Now let's jump to 14. Let's see what God looked like. Christ looked like. Verse 14. His head and his hair. Hold on, bro. Don't I eat go, look, 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 look. This is one minute long. That's it. Watch. His head and his hair were white like wool. Go ahead. As white as snow. Go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So Christ's first miracle was turning water into wine. He drank some. Right. It's not a sin to drink. It's a sin to get drunk. That's right. why the whites of his eyes was red like fire. Just like if I was to drink alcohol, the whites of my eyes would turn red. Right. He drank wine. But then it said his hair was like wool, though. What kind of hair you got? That's her like wool. What kind of hair you got? That's her like wool. What white man you know got her like that? Wake him up. That can't be him. So it ain't that we don't know what he looked like. He looked like a black man so far. That's right. Am I right? He looked like a black man so far. Read on. And his feet. And his feet. So if I look at your foot, I can see the top of your feet through your shoes. Ain't the same color as the rest of your body. Go ahead. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass, bro? What color is brass? Brass. 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 Brown. Brass is brown. But watch this though. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. You burned the brass. What color is it now? <laughs> what color was Jesus then? Bring it out. Mm. We just read about him. What color did he say he was? So why do we say we don't know what he looked like? Well, yes, we do. That's right. right. The Bible already had it written for us to learn in the last days. Now. Right. right. But we've got a pastor that will teach our young men. No one knows what he looked like. You a lie. The Bible told me what he looked like. Right. Come up. So how do you lie to me and think I'm going to come learn from you when you don't even know who you worship? Right. Right. You don't even know who you worship. You go to church to lie to me right. and our people, and we give you money. Right. When, where do you read that at in the Bible where the apostles took money from the people? Where no, they gave money to the people. They all had jobs. Right. So if me and you had a need and I lost my job, the whole congregation would help me. Right. Right. Not, I'm going to take from the congregation as the pastor and go buy a, an expensive house in the Bentley. Look it out. You don't yep. read that the apostles did that in the Bible. Right, right. Because all they do is lie to everybody, and then our people go to church thinking it's holy to make a man rich. That's right. dumb. That's straight up dumb. And we won't understand that because we won't read. Blessed is he that read. Right. 
because black people will rather you tell me a lie than for me to have to change. Right. right. The Bible says we live like that, bro. Read on down. Read the last line of that right there. Let's see how Christ spoke. Because your church pastor and all these people on TV, they all smooth and crap. They sound all, all not whack. They, they can't stand it. sound like women talking. And it pisses us off. Right. Because men don't talk like that. Right. right. Read. And his voice as the sound of many waters. He was loud. He did not play around with people. Remember, he beat everybody that was selling things and breaking the Sabbath day. Right. Christ went in there and whipped everybody behind. Right. right. But they'll tell you that Christ is all lovey-dovey. Right. Where is that at in the Bible? Wake when they up. was afraid to ask Christ questions because of the way he spoke. Right. But how will people act like that ain't the same Christ we serve today? Right. Right. Because we won't read about who we really worship or supposed right. to worship. Right. We will rather a man just tell me what you think and I will go with that. I'm going to prove it out of the Bible that we will be like that. You got any questions? Y'all got any questions? You got any questions? Okay. Go to Isaiah 30. Watch this. Hello, man. Appreciate effort. Yes, sir. All praises. So y'all got the flyer on the back of the flyer. Look us up, bro. We literally 10 minutes up the street. 10 minutes up the street. Instead of going listen to these darn lion pastors and they taking all your money, come where brothers and sisters really care that you get the kingdom. Right. Huh? They are. That is who they are. Matter of fact, the Bible talks about it. Watch this. We're going to read it in a second. Watch this. And this right here is what they bank off of. <coughs> pastors bank off of us being ignorant. Think about it. It's been four different teachers come up here. How do we all talk the same? How do we all teach the same thing? How? But you go to a church, who teaches the body? Only the pastor and the assistant pastor do. Because right. no one else in the body can do it. Because they're not apostles. Didn't Christ have 12 of them? Disciples? Couldn't all 12 of them teach the same thing? Wake them up. It's kind of funny how you go to a church and only two people can do it. And right. take all the people money. Right. Because if all of us know the same thing, if I say something wrong, guess what happens now? <laughs> all of them say, uh, uh, that ain't in the Bible. Get the heck on out of here. Right. You can't be with us. You don't want to keep the commandments and start lying. You got to go. Right. Because the Bible says if heresies come in the congregation, they got to get put out. Heresies goes against God. But then you'll go to church on Sunday and won't nobody check the pastor because they don't know. They don't read. Right. They just in there hooping and hollering, jumping around, acting like they got the Holy Ghost. So you mean tell me you lost the Holy Ghost when you left? Yes, sir. Go ahead. I'll pray. I think it's Matthew 24, 24. That's me. When it also says that um, even the elect, to a certain extent, can be deceived. How do you feel about that? It didn't say the elect can be. It said that they might be. Meaning that they would do so many things on earth that even the elect might be. So they're not going to be deceived. Is that what I want? Is it 24, 24? Yes, sir. Let's read. The book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 24. But there shall arise false Christ. That's exactly what happened. That's a false Christ. Explain how Christ is prophesying. Somebody gonna come and lie about me. There shall arise false Christ. And what else gonna come with the false Christ? And false prophets. All your Sunday pastors. All of them coming too. They coming to lie on God too. Go ahead. And shall show great signs and wonders. And that's what they think they're doing. They're showing false signs and wonders. Go ahead. And so much that if it were possible. If it didn't say it was. It said if it was possible. Because they're going to do so many things that people will think it's cool. They're going to think it's so great. That if it was possible. Go ahead. If it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. What does that mean? What does that verse mean? The very bottom part. If it were possible, they would deceive the very elect. If it was possible, yeah, it could. It, it basically, the wonders are going to be so like spectacular to a certain extent, so worldly aspect. Uh -huh. could possibly, you know, if it could deceive. It could if deceive the, it was yeah, possible, possible, meaning you yeah. cannot deceive the very elect. That's right. But it's so great that you will deceive others. Because who's the elect of God? That's 
Who's the elect? Israel. That's it, bro. That's it. But there's only certain ones even out of Israel that's the elect. Because we are the elect nation. Right. But there is people that are the elect as well. That when they hear the Bible, that's why Christ said, my sheep hear my voice. It's funny. How the Pharisees and them, did they hear Christ's voice in the Bible? No. So it's funny how we'll be here today and act like we got the Holy Ghost and still won't hear God when we're reading what he said. But we know so much. We so great. And I'm so deep. And I go and follow the white man. You can't make this stuff up. What about Christmas? When was Christ born? I don't know. You celebrate Christmas? Okay, yes, you do. You say yes. Yes, you know. That's it. Let's be honest. Now, do you believe that Christmas is in the Bible? No. So why do our people do it? Hey, my sister's over here. Quick question for you. Do y'all celebrate Christmas? Hey, no, no, no. She huh? said the Quran came before the Bible. You said the Quran came before the Bible? Yeah, that's what I was told. That's what you was told. Now, the Quran came before the Bible. now what if we can prove that Islam was 600 years after Christ died? The Bible was before Christ came on the earth. Right. The Old Testament was already written before Christ came on the earth. So then after Christ dies, 600 years later, then you get Islam. How, how does Islam come first when Muhammad copied the Israelites? Wake, up. Wake them up. You see what I'm saying? Now, who, who is Christ to you? Jesus? Yes. God? No, he's Jesus. He's a God. He's our God, but there is a God, the Father, that is our God, too. They're not the same person. Right. You want me to prove it out of the Bible that they're not the same? Christ never said, I am my Father. He never said that I am the same person. He never said that. So we'll read it. Hear that in 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. We're going to read that Christ and God is not the same. But in Islam, in the Quran, do you know that it says, who's the chosen people in the Quran? You ever read the Quran? Okay, so why, why would you ask about Islam? That's just what you was told. Yeah, was in the Quran, the Israelites are the chosen people of God in the Quran. Right. But they don't tell you who the Israelites are in the Quran because what book do you have to read with the Quran for it to make sense? Nope. Well, for it to do anything, what book do they tell you to read with the Quran? Yes, the Bible. That's right. Because the Bible tells you who the Israelites are. That's the Quran doesn't. So if that's the case, then who, which book was first then? If the Quran is only validated, if you read the Bible, which book came first? Wake them up. You see what I'm saying? So the Quran is only valid when you read the Bible. With it. So which one had to come first for it to be valid then? The Bible had to come first. Now watch, we're going to read, or well, Christ is not the same as, as, as God. Go ahead. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Verse 3, but I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So our head is who? So listen, sisters, our head is Christ. Go ahead. And the head of the woman is the man. The man is over the woman. They'll tell you that we're equal. But then when the tire bus, when they want some unloaded or some heavy pack, why do they call us? Since we so equal, then why in the world don't you do what we do? <laughs> if you so equal, then why whenever a single mother or versus a single father, why does the child have an 80% chance of being successful? More than the mother raising them single family. If we're so equal, because fathers is what runs the house. Right. Fathers is what set everything in order. Right. And what a lot of our black people have forgotten is the black man is that important. Go ahead. And the head of Christ is God. Wait a minute. If they're the same, then how is that possible? The head of Christ is God. Right. God, Christ, man, woman, children. That's the order of God. Right. That's right. The black woman wanted to be God, woman, man, Christ. Because they don't follow nothing God says. Right. But they want to say they worship him. So that's why that's the only reason why I said him first. Really, they put themselves before God. Right. For a woman to be a sodomite, she put herself before God. Right. Meaning for her to sleep around with another woman, she puts herself before God. She would rather please herself than do what God said. Right. Just like a man that wants to sleep with another man. He wants to please himself more than he wants to please God. Right. Go ahead. I think it's 1 John 2, 16. Mm -hmm. 1 John 2, 16. Basically the saying that 
the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. It's basically, it's not of the Father, it's of the world. Let's read that. Is that what it's saying? Let's read it. I like the fact that when brothers quote scriptures, I dig it. The book of 1 John, uh -huh. chapter 2, verse 16. Bring it out. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes. Jump up to 15. Let's start there for you. Read that. Verse 15. Love not the world. Well, what does what does what does John 3 16 mean <laughs> if God said love the that he loved the world? Wake him up. Then you turn around and say, Don't love the world. That don't make sense. Right. No. Because they'll say, God says he loved the world. He loves everybody. Right. And then God says, Don't love the world. Wait, I'm confused. You see how that would mess up that whole argument that God loved everybody right there? Because if God is telling you not to love the world, that would mean he don't love the whole world. Right. So then when he says that God loved the world, that he gave his only book out of son, what world is he talking about? The Israelites. We read right. earlier. Go ahead. That's right. <laughs> love not the world, uh -huh. neither the things that are in the world. Go ahead. If any man love the world, uh -huh. the love of the Father is not in him. There you go. So if you love how things operate here, you ain't got the love of God. Right. You're going to burn forever. You're going to be dead. Just walk in pieces of charcoal, walking around until your day comes. That's it. Go ahead. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father. So the pride of life is not of God. I love God. He loves me. God knows my heart. Right. He knows how I feel. And I don't have to do anything to prove to him that I love him. He knows. Right. You can't make this stuff up. Yeah. How? What, what does that mean? Bring it out. That God loves you so much that he knows and you ain't got to do nothing to prove it? Right. But, but everybody understands it when it comes to someone loving them. Bring it right. It's a darn shame. You'll ask. I'll ask you. How would a woman prove she loves you? Bring it out. I want to know what you're going to say. Yeah. How do people understand that when it comes to God, though? Right. They'll say God knows my heart. That's not, yeah. That's what you're saying. I'm going to prove what the heart really is and how God really, really know it. Let's get that in Jeremiah 17 and 9. Let's read it. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all. You write, God knows our heart. Yep. <laughs> the heart is what? Is deceitful above all things. But God knows that I love you. That is how our people talk, bro. Your mother talked like that. She just said that. Help her. But the only way you can help her is come learn. Right. Or you ain't going to be able to help her at all. Right. Because she said that God knows. Yes, she do. Read that again. The heart is deceitful above all things. And desperately wicked. So the mind, according to the Bible, is the heart. It's desperately evil. Right. We love evil. Right. We love sin. And then we'll say, God knows that I love him anyways. Right. When God said, yes, I do know. You're evil. And you hate me anyways. And I will kill you. Remember, they was you was up here when they was reading about the pants. She said, God won't kill me for that. They read the law that God would kill her for that. So All praises to the most high. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is unity.